Hey guys, we're James and Holly. And welcome to a Glastonbury Festival 2019 preparation video. So whether it's your first time or you've been loads before, hopefully there'll be some tips in here for you. But before we get into the tips, I just yeah. want to basically say that the Barbasa 360 ah. t-shirts are now available, top line yep. of the description, mm -hmm. after popular demand of 2017. Yes, yeah. We did a t-shirt, we brought them back for 2019, and look how flipping cool these are. And look. this was taken at 2017's Glastonbury. I think I took this picture at Foo Fighters. I took the picture at Foo Fighters. I think I took the picture. But it's pretty good, right? One of us took this picture, we put it on a t-shirt. It looks so cool. You've got the Barbasa 360 logo in the corner. Glastonbury Festival 2019. Organic cotton. Organic cotton. Top run in the description. <laughs> so if you're taking a tent to Glastonbury, tent preparation is key. Before you get to the festival, put the tent up and just double check that everything's okay. Make sure the poles yep. aren't broken. Make sure there's no rips in the tent and make sure that you know how to put the tent up. It does help because it does get busy really quickly. And you need to learn how to put the tent up super quick. <laughs> yeah. And re-waterproof it because it will probably rain and you don't want a wet tent. So brand new for Glastonbury Festival 2019 is that there is no single-use plastic on site. So we're going to try doing our bit by not taking plastic with us. For instance, mm -hmm. we're going to take reusable water bottles and bamboo toothbrushes. And more importantly, biodegradable glitter. Super important. <laughs> Most important. <laughs> so we're not going to go into detail about the exact clothes you should bring because... No, we trust you to pack your own clothes. <laughs> yes, but I would definitely say about two days before the festival, double check the weather yeah. and pack accordingly to the weather. I would still say though you need to take sun cream and wellies yes. and a waterproof coat and everything yes. for both types of weather because yes. it always rains it's and you will rain. always get sunburnt somehow. <laughs> and I would also say to take an umbrella with you yeah. regardless of the weather. Mm -hmm. If it's super hot and sunny there's not a lot of shade there so you can use it as a little shade umbrella. Which I do quite a lot. <laughs> and if it's super wet and rainy it's an umbrella. Yeah. To protect you from the rain or the sun. So again it depends on how you do the festival. Yeah. For instance if you're going to be in the camper van field or if you're flying in from overseas then taking some of this stuff might not really apply to you but for us we kind of like a little bit of luxury in and around our tent. Yeah and because we drive in we have a little bit more space to pack extra stuff so pillows, a sleeping bag and a an blow up air mattress is an absolute must. And I would probably say as well that camping chairs are a must. And a chair yeah. For the the little uh, campsite area. Yeah definitely. To wake up in the morning after you've had a good night's sleep on a pillow in a sleeping bag on an inflatable mattress and sit on a chair means zero hangovers. Exactly. So, and something which I do, which Holly doesn't do, is I take earplugs and an eye mask. I'm not even joking. I like a good night's sleep. It sets me up for the rest of the day. So, if you like me and you like sleep and you don't like a hangover, eye mask and earplugs. Speaking of luxury, we also have a portable battery pack to charge our phones. And if you're wondering which battery packs we would actually recommend, we will put some Amazon links in the description down below to a few different things that we're going to be talking about in today's tip yeah. video. But I would also say as well that if you are going to be taking an expensive kind of smartphone, mm -hmm and you're gonna be using data to go on Facebook and on Instagram and in Snapchat and showing the world what you're up to, you're gonna drain your battery and the yep. battery packs might not even last. So I would definitely recommend to turn off data when you're gonna be at the festival. Still can receive yeah. calls and texts from your friends to meet up and stuff. But if you are gonna be staying on yeah. your social media sites, that will rip through your battery and you will definitely need a portable battery charger. Yeah. And you guys know this by now, love the farm, leave no trace. Yeah. Only taking stuff with you, what you're willing to take home with mm -hmm. you. So if you think that you're gonna leave your chair or your inflatable mattress there on the Monday, mm -hmm. do not take it in with you because people don't wanna clean up after your stuff. No. Only take in what you're willing to take home. So if you're a coffee addict like me, you can always take a portable stove and a kettle so you can have coffees around the camp. Now we know that everyone's not gonna be taking in camper stoves and kettles and stuff, but some people might take a lot of food and drink and stuff in with them where for us we used to do that but we yeah. take in a lot less food now because we always mm -hmm. seem to not eat it all and have to take it home with us yeah. so this time we kind of just take boxes of cereal Cocoa dried pops. food and because <laughs> you can literally buy milk super easily they drive yeah. around the campsites every morning so you can buy a pint of milk and have cereal in the morning which is amazing and it saves quite a lot of money as well mm -hmm. and i'd also recommend taking in some other dried food maybe some nuts and cereal bars as well which you can just chuck in a little Big day place. bag and just kind of snack along the way but we do take in most of our own alcohol and if you've never been to the festival before you might not know this the the festival is just once you're in you're in there's no yeah. turnstile gates or like an arena and camping like other the festivals so just free. That, the alcohol you take in you can just walk around and drink as and when you want because you're not going through these kind of security gate checks and stuff so this can save you quite a lot of money if you can take yeah. some of your own alcohol in with you 
but again you probably would have to drive to be able to take crates of beer and cider in with you yeah might not be popular on the train if you've got like <laughs> you crates. probably wouldn't be allowed on the train saying <laughs> <True>. that <laughs> so yes taking a lot of your own alcohol will save you quite a lot of money if you're not going to be buying from the bars all the time but on the opposite hand i would then say to walk around the festival and eat as much food as you possibly can eat because the, the food. food at glastonbury <laughs> tastes amazing yep. and is amazing there is so much variety there that there is so much variety that one year i even tried to eat a different thing every single meal and I managed it and it was amazing. But and choosing still... when to have my pizza was the most difficult decision, knowing I could only <laughs> have it once. <laughs> but there is like so much that you want to eat there. That exactly. Don't yeah. just go to the same places no. and don't just go get your, I don't know, hog roast burger and your. Get box that like of once chips. or twice and then go and get something new and something you've never go even Go and try heard of. some new food because it will taste amazing. <laughs> Trust me, it will be incredible. I think they realise we like food. <laughs> so there are showers on site. However, the queues are usually really long. So if you don't want to spend your whole time queuing, it's probably best to buy some biodegradable wet wipes and do it in your tent. <laughs> and also taking things like antibacterial gel with you is an absolute must. And lots of toilet roll. Most toilets don't have toilet roll, so. Nope. Take some in your little day bag when you're going out, when you leave the tent. Yep, and just always just case. leave some tissues in your coat pockets or any pockets because <laughs> it is a nightmare when you get to the loo and realise you don't have any. <laughs> so earlier I put a tweet out to get your tips and your advice in this video as well, starting off with Kirsty who gave a very, very good tip. It's a really good tip. <laughs> and it's actually a tip which I'm going to take on board for this year and that is Dioralite before you go to bed yep. and Barocca when you wake up in the morning. It does sound pretty good. Apparently that means zero hangovers. <laughs> That's all I keep going on about, zero, zero hangovers. Zero hangovers, it matters when you get to our age. <laughs> so Darren, amongst a lot of other people, including mm -hmm. us, yep. would definitely give this advice, is to only plan a few things within the day yep. and leave the rest till chance. Yeah, I think the best bits for me is just when you wander around and just random stuff happens. You go in a tent you hadn't planned to and it is the best time. Obviously, there are some people you definitely not want to miss, but on the whole, pick a couple, and just mooch. The unplanned things are literally the best things exactly, that the festival yeah. does have to offer. So Jodie's advice was to take a vacuum pack with a hand pump for clothes. This sounds like a really, really good idea. That you can like does, yeah. shrink your clothes down in a little clothes. vacuum pack, slide it in your bag, and you can fit more things in your bag, or your bag would be a lot smaller to pack into that. a car. That might be a thing that we might try this year we as well. We might actually try that. This is such a good idea. <laughs> so Daisy's tip was to take a really good waterproof coat, one with a fleece lining on the yeah. inside because it does get very, very cold at night at Glastonbury. It does. So to have a nice fleecy line, keep you warm, and if it rains, keep you dry as well. So there's a really simple tip, which Mia has said, which I had never even considered. I don't is... know why we've not thought about this before. <laughs> Leave fresh, clean clothes in the car for Monday. <laughs> for the drive home. What a flipping brilliant idea that is. That is, a, or that the only awkward thing might be is if you're in a busy car park and you've got to take your I don't think, off to... I don't think people would care at that point. Maybe not, but that is something to consider. <laughs> but leave dry clean clothes in the car <laughs> yeah. for the drive home. And Glasto Addict said to take a solar shower. Mm -hmm. So if you're one of those people who's really worried about your kind of hygiene and want to take a shower every day. Solar shower. Solar shower might actually be up your street, but. If it's sunny. It's weather dependent. <laughs> if it's not sunny, then it might just be like pouring cold water on you, which you might not be into, but it might keep you clean and smelly free. And my final tip would be for the people who've never been to Glastonbury Festival before, and that is to walk all the way up to the Glastonbury sign, which is like well up past the park. And don't turn around until you get there. Do this at night and take in the incredible sights and the incredible scenes of Glastonbury Festival. It literally makes me go tingly. It makes me go tingly now, just thinking about it. <laughs> it is absolutely amazing. And it is the highlight of the first year you go, I would say. It just is incredible just to see the, the size of the place. Yeah and to think that it is a farm for the rest of the year. And my final suggestion would be to people who have been before, and that is to try and do something different every year. So for us this year, we are gonna try and get to the underground piano bar because we have never made it in all these years. I don't know why we've never done it before. I don't know either. We keep being told we need to go to the underground piano bar, so that's one thing this we're year. gonna do. So don't do the exact same thing no. year after year go to new places, explore new things. And for instance, this year, there's lots of new kind of, there is lots of new things, and yeah. changes and stuff. So go and see those. Mix Even if you wouldn't necessarily go there, just go and explore and see what it has to offer. So that is it for this video. And if you have any more tips or advice, please let us know in the comments below. And also in the description down below, like I said at the very beginning, the t-shirts are available. Click the link and head over and buy one of these if you are interested in getting one. And also Thursday, midday, the meetup, yes. the Barbara 360, James and Holly meet up 
at the pyramid tree come over and say hello and come yeah. hang out with us for a little while but that's it for us thank you for yep. watching we will see you in the next video and we'll see you at, see you at the festival bye